This is Max Williams with United Real Estate Today. I'm in Henrico County. More specifically, I'm off the West Broad Corridor. Today we're going to take a look at a three bedroom, two and a half bath condo. This condo is located here in a new complex. In fact, they are finishing up the build on it and they have approximately three units left. And if you are a longtime viewer, you have been here before. Uh, I have covered one of these units uh, in the past. They actually are Stanley Martin condos and there are two different floor plans here. Uh, there is a smaller floor plan and a larger floor plan. We are going to take a look at the larger floor plan. Uh, some of the options uh, that they offered include a smart home technology where you can control a lot of the functions of your home from your phone, uh, which is really neat. One of the advantages of newer construction and secondly the unit we're going to take a look at has a rooftop terrace and back when they were selling these units uh, as new uh, that was a quite a hefty upcharge for the rooftop terrace and it's really a neat upgrade because now you have some space that's very private where you can enjoy the sunshine uh, you're not going to enjoy it today uh, we are about 35 degrees today and just got uh, about three quarters of an inch of quote unquote snow. Uh, very rare for us uh, here in the past couple years to get snow, but we got a little bit, no real significant accumulation. When we come into the unit, we've got a unique floor plan. We can go straight across and that's going to take us to our one car attached garage. And the arrangement here is that there are alleyways throughout this entire subdivision and you can uh, obviously access the back of the unit through the alleyway so it makes it super convenient the sanitation trucks come back here and pick up the trash uh, the units also have balconies and we'll of course see that when we go through Condo living is not for everyone. However, if you are in a stage of life where condo life is appealing, there are a number of benefits. Number one is you don't have any exterior maintenance. Everything is taken care of you, taken care of for you. The HOA is approximately $180 a month for this area. That is definitely reasonable. And you just simply maintain your interior. So anything that your home needs as far as interior maintenance, you take care of. Exterior maintenance is taken care of by the association. Okay, here at the top of the steps, directly ahead, is going to be a double coat closet. The paint has been touched up in this unit, and it shows as new. Excellent condition. You can't even tell someone has lived here. Plenty of open space, as you can see. This is LVP on the floor. I love what they did here in the kitchen. We've got the gray cabinetry, tile backsplash. Our stainless appliances, of course, convey. Nice big island here. You can get probably seven bar stools there. So plenty of space here at the island. This unit does feature recessed lights, and we even have speakers in the ceiling, so you can have some audio that's already wired in. Nice plus. All right, let's go take a look here at our balcony. I'm not gonna go out there. We've got snow on the actual balcony, which you can see, of course, we are open to the alleyway. This unit does have a office and this is an option here in this subdivision so this is a nice office plenty of natural light flows in you got the glass door there so i love this upgrade if you're working from home you can come in set up your office and most importantly you're just a few feet away from all the snacks that are right there in the fridge or right here in this huge pantry you guys can tell what my priorities are whenever I'm looking at a home. Okay, speaking of priorities, this is a super 
convenient location because we are right on the Broad Street Corridor. Um, before the storm, I had some friends that said, hey, you need to stock up on food bags. You need to get, you know, a, a little bit of food just in case something happens. You know, if something did happen and you were living here, Waffle House is a, a just a, a few steps away. Taco Bell is just a few steps away. Waffle House never, ever, ever closes. So you would at least be able to survive here at this location if things got really, really bad. Okay, nice layout. We do have a powder room here on this level. Super convenient. Our powder room is right here. Special thanks to Kelly Dyram. She was kind enough to allow us to come in and take a look at her beautiful listing. And uh, it just shows beautifully. Love what they did here. All right, let's go up to our top level. Okay, here on this level, this is going to be our bedroom level. At the top of the steps, we have our laundry. You're gonna have two front load LG units, and those look like they are relatively new. We have the option here to go left or right. We're actually gonna to go to our left. We have two bedrooms here on the front of the home. We have a nice double closet here. This location is also close to my absolute favorite Jamaican restaurant. Jamaica Jerk Pit, if you are a fan of jerk chicken, curry chicken, oxtails, chicken patty, beef patty, they have the amazingly best dishes right there. I'll put the address below. Make sure you say hi to Chelsea. She works the counter in the register. Uh, they all know me by name. Uh, and they'll take really good care of you. All right, this is gonna be bedroom number two. I'm not gonna take you back down the hallway. And I've got the linen closet right here in the hallway. I'm gonna take you down the hallway and to our left is a hall bath. Nice depth to this bath. We do have ceramic tile back there on the wall in the tub shower area, nice big vanity and ceramic tile on the floor we're now heading towards the primary bedroom here on the right this is going to be our heating and air closet uh, that is a train heat pump and a electric water heater right here on this level and now we are looking at our primary bedroom this bedroom does have a ceiling fan in place good natural light we're going to start here with our closet and this is not just any old closet this is an amazing closet i've been in bedrooms that are not this big uh, this wall to my left is approximately 13 or 14 feet so you have just an amazing amount of space uh, to work with here if you wanted to put up uh, uh, some custom cabinetry or do something different with the railing for even more storage space you could of course do so but uh, you have enough Definitely enough space in there for your wardrobe. All right, Derek Straggett Head is going to be our primary bath, our ensuite. And uh, they did a great job with it. We've got dual vanities, a stand up tile shower. I'm going to show you inside here. Got that tile that goes all the way up. And then to the left, we actually have a little seat there. That was vanity number one. And then we also have a second vanity. So if you live with someone, uh, it can keep issues to a minimum because you both have your own space. And uh, that is just a beautiful thing. Here to my rear is going to be our water closet. And it's right there, self-contained. All right, let's see what else we have. I'm gonna take you up the steps I really want you to see what we have here on the rooftop level. This is a definite winner here. Once we get into spring and summer, uh, I know a lot of people would just love to spend time out here. And a huge 
plus for this unit. All right, notice how that knee wall there is nice and high. I'm 5'7", and it comes up to my chin here. So you're not gonna be able to see a whole lot uh, here as far as uh, from other units. So you've got good privacy. It goes on around, so you could set this up any way you choose. Give you an idea here of what's on the other side of this wall. And Broad Street is right there in the distance. So you can see you just have an amazing location. I see somebody next door actually put some speakers, some outdoor speakers out here. And um, you've got some shade there if you wanted to uh, shield yourself from the sun. You could, of course, do that. I really love what I see here. This is a really nice unit. If you have any questions about this or any other home in the market, my name is Max Williams. It'd be an honor for me to help. I can be reached on Facebook under Richmond Area Foreclosures on YouTube under my name, Max Williams Realtor. Please be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Thanks so much for taking the tour. Y'all be safe. Have a great day.